Ladies and gents, welcome back. It is kind of a nice day out here so far. Um, got a lot of rain yesterday, unfortunately, and it kind of postponed. Uh, I was going to go to the Carnegie Hill Climbs today, um, but I think we'll go tomorrow uh, for the finals and all that good stuff. And today we'll just stick around and get some work done. Um, I want to work on the soft tail some more and see where we can get with that. Um, I bought new spark plugs for it, so let's put those bad boys in and see how it runs. It's a dual plug head, so there's four spark plugs, and you got to take the push rod tube covers off just to get to the spark plugs. Kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, yeah, we'll start there. See what else. See what else we can get into. Well, we got the plugs in. Now the only problem that I have is. Uh, the battery was a little bit a uh, little bit low because we just put that new regulator rectifier in there and I don't think it was charging so not that it was running either um, so yeah given the uh, given the battery a little charge and then hopefully this thing makes some noise my goodness guys I can barely even believe it it's running and it's running good just listen to her purr running pretty darn good pretty happy about that Just phenomenal throttle response, my goodness. She's running great. I am so excited about this. All right, guys, I hope you learned a very valuable lesson with this project. Do not put champion spark plugs in your motorcycle for any reason. Don't do it. NGK or nothing. Um, unless it's like iridium plugs on a sport bike or whatever, but I'm telling you, NGK plugs are the way to go. Champions are garbage. This bike was only running on one cylinder because of the spark plugs. And I'm going to show them to you. They're not that bad. So here's a, here's a couple of them right here. And you can see, I think that one came out of the back. This one might have came out of the front, if I remember. But if you, you can see, they're not that bad. But bad enough to stop the motorcycle from running which is just absolutely insane but we got it figured out now we need to put the uh air cleaner and whatnot back on here but my goodness this thing runs great now well comparatively it didn't run at all before now it fires right up so yeah let's uh let's button up the air cleaner stuff on here and then the last thing that we have to do to this bike before we can send it home is put the dash in. And it's missing a couple parts, so we're going to have to make something work there. But, um, oh, my goodness, with how much work I put into this thing, you better believe it. I'm going to make something happen and get this thing off my lift. Especially because, oh my goodness, I was going to wait to show you guys, but I just can't. In here, I have the electronic ignition for the Bull Taco. Yeah, that is going in this week. And we're going to get it started. And then after we get it started, we're going to finish assembly. Because this one is almost done. And I'm really, really, really excited to see it all together. And I know the owner is going to be extremely excited. He's been waiting a very long time for this motorcycle. I've had this bike for over a year. Um, it's not a very easy build with uh, what we we're working with. To tell you the truth, this was one of the one of the hardest projects I've had, just because everything is very particular. Parts are a pain in the butt, and it was missing so many parts when we started. This was a total basket case. So, yeah, getting stuff done at the shop. Boy, uh, boy, I am just so excited about this uh, thing running good. I was really scratching my head. Um, but, yeah, she's a runner. Thank goodness. So somehow I uh, misplaced my chest mount for the GoPro, so I apologize for that. It's kind of hard to video with the GoPro and show you what I'm doing. But to give you an idea, so I wanted to flush the gas tanks without taking them off well attempt to do that so this is the setup i got going on here took out the petcock of course and 
block this one off, putting vinegar in this side, and then I take this off, put my hand over it. Oh, and you can see the nice burn I got from the exhaust. That was awesome. But anyways, put my hand over it, air hose, pressurize the tank, and it pushes it through. And then that way, we'll clean out the line and all that good stuff without taking the tank off because I have to charge for my time. And if I take this tank off and clean it, it's gonna take hours. Um, so we're gonna try to avoid that. And also, if I take the tank off, I'm just gonna have to end up relining it. So we're not gonna do that. Um, just getting it put together the best way. Fortunately, there's not a lot of rust in the tank. I really don't know where the rust was coming from because looking inside of it with the flashlight, I don't see a ton of rust. So hopefully the vinegar, what little rust is in there, the vinegar will, you know, clean that up and the it's coming out clear now. So that tells me that the, the tank's pretty clean. Uh, maybe we'll put an inline filter on it just to be sure. That doesn't sound like a horrible idea, but yeah, making progress. Now I gotta fi figure out this stupid dash. I got the, uh, the cable ran the correct way up up through there for the speedo, but uh, I gotta figure out some kind of way to mount it. All right, I feel like I got the, the tank as clean as I can get it, um, and I'm gonna throw in the new petcock. Sure is shiny. All right, guys, we are so close to being done on the soft tail, I can almost taste it. Um, one thing I can smell, speaking of senses, is a little bit of fuel every once in a while. This thing leaks some fuel from the carburetor still. Uh, so I'm gonna get on the old interwebs and look up to see if the float height is adjustable in the, uh, the old Super E. And if it is, great. And if it's not, I don't know. Um, from the factory, these bikes come with the vacuum petcock. Really good system, works really well. Uh, this one doesn't have it because it's all aftermarket and souped up and whatnot. So. We're going to tackle that tomorrow. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe while you're here, and we'll see you tomorrow on the next one.